Let's talk gold, because there's a feeling out there that gold is going to make a comeback big time. We're moving into a world which in the future will be more dominated by Chinese and Indians uh, as opposed to Westerners. And in the Chinese and Indian cultures, for thousands of years, real money has been gold. So, and there's no secret that in the m most recent years, the biggest single buyers of gold by miles have been Indians and Chinese. So down the road, we're expecting gold to start uh, performing again for Western investors. Uh, and we're hanging on, as it were, the tails of huge buying from China and India. So let's get down to the nitty gritty, because here's how Robin sees this happening from a technical perspective. I think the, in the last few months, the price of gold's been going uh, in a special technical pattern, which is called a reverse head and shoulders. It's already formed one shoulder and a head, and is in the process of forming the second shoulder now. Once that's in place, it goes straight up from there, basically. And uh, fairly quickly, global investors will recognize that the downswing in gold is over and we're on our way up again. And they'll also buy, in addition to the metal, they'll buy mining companies who have the stuff in the ground, all of which are very cheap at the moment. They're one of the most bombed out sectors in global stock markets. So we'll get confirmation from the stock markets that the, this is the view for the metal. And these are the levels to watch out for. Well, I think in, in the very short term, we do not want to see gold go lower than $11.50 an ounce. If it did do that, you'll ha I'll have to say I was wrong. Uh, if it goes up above thirteen fifty, I think you'll see plenty of the people who are currently negative saying, "Woo, I was wrong, and they reverse and become very positive. I think there's a very good chance that will happen. Believe it or not, there's a seasonality to gold, and the lowest low is traditionally in July. So we, we've got, we may have one more brief bout of weakness and then the seasonal strength will start for the new year. So I think it's worth being invested in it in a way now. Uh, and then of course if it goes under the stop loss level you just cut it. So you're risking a small loss but potentially a big profit.